Stroke is a term that we use for a sudden loss of neurologic function. Strokes generally fall into two categories. One is what we call ischemic stroke, which is an interruption of blood flow, usually from a clot or other blockage of a vessel to the brain. The other subset of strokes we call hemorrhagic, and they involve bleeding in the brain, which also interrupts nerve function. Well, in contrast to what people might think, strokes are often painless. The symptoms are sudden and sometimes subtle. Mostly, or most commonly, they involve a loss of function. So you'll suddenly find that someone can't say the words that they want to say. They suddenly find that they can't move an arm or a leg, generally on one side as opposed to both sides. Uh, these are often symptoms of stroke. They're, sometimes with hemorrhagic strokes, patients have sudden and severe headache. Time is brain, the bottom line. So the faster that you can restore blood flow to an area, the more brain cells that you can save, and the better the recovery. Combining those techniques have allowed us to, to accomplish that goal in a number of cases in patients who would otherwise have had much greater disability. Stroke is one of the most devastating diseases that one can experience. While less people are dying from stroke, it is still a major cause of disability. Stroke causes paralysis. Stroke causes inability to speak or communicate. These are things that are extremely difficult to rehab and for people to come back to lead productive lives. While the rate of death from stroke is falling, stroke remains the number one cause of disability in the United States. The best way that you can protect yourself from a stroke is to know your numbers, i.e. know your blood pressure, know your cholesterol. Have these things checked. The same things that you do to protect your heart will also protect you from stroke. There's no doubt about it that whatever treatments that we offer for stroke, by far the best thing is to avoid it altogether. For the majority of patients who present with acute stroke, the problem is a blockage of the arteries in the brain. For those patients, traditionally, we have given IV TPA as a treatment with medication hoping to bust up the clot. As a comprehensive stroke center, we can offer additional therapies, including something called thrombectomy, in which we use mechanical devices placed up in the brain to actually remove the clot. These therapies can treat patients who arrive outside the window for IV TPA medication and patients who have larger clots that may not be amenable to dissolving with medication alone. In fact, recent studies have shown that by combining the two techniques, we can more efficiently remove large clots and we can treat a much wider range of patients. As a comprehensive stroke center, at Mayo Clinic we can offer a number of advanced techniques for treating acute stroke. These techniques allow us to uh, more efficiently remove clots from the brain and to extend the window of time in which we can treat patients with acute stroke.